Welcome back, you Muppets. King Boomer here. Um, I'm going to be doing a Carl Pilkington reaction. Um, by the way, I've actually seen a lot of the uh, Ricky Gervais show episodes, and I love them. I just haven't seen them in a long time, so it's fun going back through them. Um, for the ones returning, to hoping to see another episode of that. I'm not going to do those episodes until um, I have time to do it with Callie, because she had a lot of fun, and she, she loves Carl. So, I would feel like I'd be cutting her out of a good deal if I didn't do the video with her for those uh, episodes. And we had a lot of fun doing it, but um, Carl Pilkington, we're going to do a reaction. I have, I'm aware of An Idiot Abroad. I, I have not seen much of it, though. I think I've only seen one episode. Um, I can't remember what channel they filmed it on, but... Uh, it was, I think it was the Egypt episode where they went to the pyramids. And I remember the beginning when they're talking about it, and Carl's like, is this the oldest thing in the world? So, um, but this one, I'm just doing a short clip from it. It's uh, Carl, it says Carl Pilkington dash the Chinese, which I've heard Carl talk about the Chinese before, and it's always, it's always very interesting to say the least. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. Alright? Yeah. I'm alright, yeah. What have you been doing today? Just hanging around. You look nervous. You look uneasy. Yes, he does. Well, I am a bit, yeah. It's not normal, is it? What? What is you're it? You're asking me how my day is, and room for the people who don't know. Yeah? Well, you're going to get to know them. You're going to get to know them really well. What? Everywhere I go, these lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to. They've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself, and we wouldn't see it on the telly. Right, Carl. <laughs> I love how confused he looks all the time. He's always like, what? Does not compute. I'm very jealous of your trip here, Carl, to the mighty Great Wall of China. Well, you say that, but how come I'm going and you're not doing any? Well, because um, we're executive producers. Yeah, we're busy. We've got other stuff going on. Mm. See, out of all the places, this is the place that I'm worried about the most. Why? Just the way they live. They're different. What, Chinese people? They just wreck everything. They, they make everything weird. That's what I'm worried about. To you, to you, to you. Everything, mean. chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> <laughs> just the slightest thing, the chicken. I can't. Dude, Ricky's laugh is contagious. Like, every time he starts busting out laughing, like, I, I quickly follow. It's, it's hard. That is one of the most contagious laughs ever. I was know how he goes, Carl goes, they wreck everything. Uh, Carl's so funny. He's like, what, Chinese people? He's like, yeah, they wreck everything. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> I love orange chicken. Just the slightest thing. The chicken is orange. Yeah. Eat anything. You know what I mean? Octopus. Toad. <laughs> he just made that one up. No, say, say if I go over there, I have a bit of toad. I go, do you know what? It's quite nice, that's nice than chicken. Yeah. It's going to be pretty tough to get a bit of grilled toad yeah. in this country. It could make me sort of wish for stuff that I can no longer get hold of. Yeah. Have you been listening to what he's been saying there? Yeah. That he's scared to go to China in case he gets a taste for toad. toad. And then he comes back and he can't toad. So I just wanted to say that you heard that. Yeah. The way they write, the, the letters are weird. Their alphabet's not like ours. Theirs are like, like someone testing out a biro. Everything's... <laughs> there's, there's no logic to anything that they do. <laughs> I just love that. You can tell Ricky loves Carl because, like, he's purposely winding him up, and then as he sees Carl's, like, the nuts are coming loose, he's, he's sitting there breathing. <laughs> What's he gonna do? <laughs> That's it. I love that. There's, there's no logic to anything that they do. There is. There is. Of course there's a logic to it. When they read a book, it's all the other way around. From back to front, instead of from front to back and up and down. And everything that we've done, they've gone, right, we're going to do it weirder. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it comes across. Well, some would say that they... <laughs> we're going to do it weirder. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's how it comes across. Well, some would say that they did it first. Their civilization beat ours by, by many, many hundreds of years. But 
Anyway. Right. Off you go. See you when you get back. All right. See ya. Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. I freaking love Carl. Carl is great. He's always... <laughs> I've seen him talk about the Chinese before. But that was just extra funny. Like they're testing out a biro. Um, <laughs> I just love that he thinks, like, his little pocket in England is, like, the center of the universe. So he sees, like, another civilization. Of, well, Ricky's right. They actually beat ours by a couple hundred years. But... <laughs> He's like, it's like the center of civilization for him. So he's like, right, they took our stuff and they just made it weirder. Oh, God, that's hilarious. Oh, man. All right, thank you for watching with me. Um, I'll try to react to more Carl videos. I'll do the Ricky Gervais show with Carl. Um, when I get Callie back, I'm probably going to be doing some, filming some reactions with her tomorrow. So that'll be good. If you haven't checked out An Idiot Abroad, or the Ricky Gervais show, uh, please check it out. Because I haven't seen much of Idiot Abroad, but I've seen enough to know that it's freaking hilarious. And especially the Ricky Gervais show, that cartoon, the way they take that podcast and mix it with that cartoon, it's unbelievably funny. And it gives it gives you a visual of what they're talking about. And what they talk about is, abs most of the time, it's absolute, either absolute nonsense or it's absolutely insane. So it's, it's a lot of fun watching that show. But uh, thank you guys. I'll try to get more videos up soon. And I'll try to get some, up, some more up with Callie. So have a great night. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, there's one uh, playlist I keep putting up at the end screen. It's called Aquatic Profiles. I'd like you guys to check that out. Because that's original content that me and Callie actually filmed ourselves. And then I put some goofy narration over it. So don't be shy. All right, guys. Have a great night.